Just. Rudy Gay. That's a long two. Not a bad start, huh? He's got range. He can put it on the floor. Great body control. Is the season opener of his freshman year. He is the starting point guard in their win over Pepperdine in Malibu on Friday night. Four points now for Rudy Gay. First half, Connecticut leading 18-9. to nine. Very active inside screening, a little pop out. Wow, is that pretty? Modica's pass deflected by Boone and picked off by Gay. Four on two across midcourt for Connecticut. Good non call, good non call, too. How about the left hand? So just pretty. Right here, he's got the body in control. A lot of guys will just go full bent and end up knocking somebody over. And a nice adjustment. Good look there with the elbow. Nobody shows the little screen. Screen the zone. No, I remember him very well from Northeastern. Northeastern. I remember him in the NCAA with Northeastern. Reggie Lewis, one of his great players. And speaking of. First team ball in the second half. Oh, you got to play him. It's unbelievable. Monica was looking at the ball the whole time. You know, step up by Hilton Armstrong. Look at this hustle play by Gay. Oh, and he got hammered by Hill after the dunk by Gay. Trying to get into play, but Rudy Gay with great pursuit of the ball and a strong send it in. Rudy Gay over the hill. <laughs> Not so. Connecticut with the comfortable working margin. Oh. A smile. Denham Brown, tough very shot. tough shot. Look at this hustle. Wow. Oh. Rudy Gay, the acrobatic spinner as he was hitting the deck. What an aggressive run to the rim here. And just a really important awareness to be able to use the proper part of the glass with the proper spin. My goodness. Look at that. Willie Moscone in his heyday. Now, do you remember that name? The pool player. Yeah, thank you very much. A little English on that, baby. Knock it down. Point lead. Gay. What a cross. Oh, oh, oh. A little lingerie on that deck. Said they want him to be more assertive, to take charge, to look for his own shot more often. And he's done all of that and then some tonight. This, this is, is just spectacular gorgeous, Jay, move, huh? isn't it? The crossover, the finish with the left hand. Didn't make the defense work, and their quality of shot was not high. Very good defensively. They beat Kansas yesterday. They've won all four of their first round games. Very strong. I think a good move by Lute Olsen to stick with the zone because most teams this early don't have all their zone stuff in. They're not as proficient against zone. And yet that time. Two games plus now in the Jinxton. Thank you very much. Yeah, he's now 20 for 22 in the two games plus tonight. Yay! The finger roll lay in. Connecticut leads six. Um, bigger and stronger. And he can elevate over him with that jump shot, too. Yay inside. He looks much more assertive in the first 50 seconds. Went up. Gay inside for two more. That's called assertiveness. At home, they're against Army, Texas, Southern, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Moorhead State, Stony Brook, and Quinnipiac. The shot, Anderson, the rebound. Austri deflected by Rivio. Lucky for Connecticut. It went right to Gay for the dunk. The tournament has come from the winning team. There are a number of candidates for Connecticut should they emerge victorious. And there's what you said, Sean, that little Slap by Rivio, but the effort by Gay, much more pronounced tonight. He made a good effort to get some inside shots, establish a little bounce here and there. Ahead to Austri. Stop and go on Jamibawan. Oh. Leaves for Nelson. Looked like he might have got bumped. <laughs> Nobody blocked out Gay. And Rudy Gay is so athletic. That amazing leaping ability. I like the way Austri, though, just, just kind of kept his poise there. Thought, hey, they're going to put some points together in bunches and they're doing it off the defense oh nice move steal by gay wants to go one-on-one -on, -one on the much shorter barrel there's that yukon spurt with the athleticism keyed off the defense 
So UConn opens up its biggest lead of the night with a minute 30 to go in the half, and this one generated at the defensive end. Well, great defense, long arms, Rudy Gay, very athletic, but check this move out behind the back, oh, then the flush. One more foul, and UConn will spend the rest of the game from the free throw line. Off the inbound, Austri finds Gay to play Sacred Heart in Fairfield. There's a block shot by Gay, tried to save it. Get out on the line, Jim Cruz like that one. That was Steve Stoll with the all-out hustle. Turnover number 18 for UConn. Sewell shot, looked like it might have, Gay got a piece of it. On the right, Christopher Moore. Wants to drive and weak side help from Rudy Gay for the block. The guys getting pieces in there. Yeah, like Armstrong. Yeah. Who's the sixth leading shot blocker in the league. Rudy Gay had five blocks in one game this year. There's his first shot of the night, first field goal. Jumper is blocked by Gay with Boone with rebound number seven. Here's Austin looking for some more in transition. Gay changes direction. And it's a jumper. <laughs> Wow. Don't try that in your driveway unless you got your chiropractor next door. In 40 minutes against Army three nights ago, they got 44 in the first 17 minutes tonight. And another block shot by Gay. Many bouquets. And he was just uh, euphoric about how good this kid was. Well, scored 111 points in a high school game. Rudy Gay gets the roll. He's got 10. The pinpoint passing looks like right now Calhoun's just working on his offense. <laughs> Rudy Gay buries the three. And picked it up off the floor. It's tough to slip that stat sheet beneath him when he jumps, wouldn't it? Gay. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Rudy Gay looked like his arm was a good two feet above the rim on that one. And at the other end, Nelson and Anderson, one of them got a piece of the ball, the other one a piece of the arm. That's not a candidate. That's a keeper. Oh, my. Look at this. Just an effortless explosion. No weak side help. Not enough for the Tigers of Texas. Um, they're, they're really kind of watching. I mean, when this guy gets cranked up, from Texas Southern, it may be more like an autopsy. But it is impressive. Summers. And Gay comes up with yet another steal. He's 10th in the Big East in that category. Leads UConn. This time he does it himself. And the foul. The mid-range game so often missing now in great offensive players who want to cross over dribble and uh, go to the hoop or shoot the three, and he's got the whole package. He is murder from the so often missing now in great offensive players who want to cross over dribble and uh, go to the hoop or shoot the three, and he's got the whole package. He is murder from the shots, the skills, and the offensive end are plentiful. Gay drives, pull up jumper. He's got 22. Averages 16 points and nine rebounds per game. He's four for four from the floor. The rest of the minute are three for 13. Rudy Gay, a deep two. Come on, run their offense. That's been the biggest shortcoming. Oh. A pirouette. Great footwork, though, Jake. Great footwork and great athleticism. And this is the kind of thing we've been talking about, an explosion by Rudy Gay along the baseline when he's bumped. And a clutch for the send it in. Connecticut by seven, trying to go to seven and oh for the year. Gay missed a dunk. Gay shot goaltended by Stefan Lasmi. We chatted yesterday. The first task is just to get competitive in their league. They haven't really even been a factor in the Atlantic 10 in the last five or six years. It has confused them a little bit. Nice exchange of personnel. Gay shed the defender and very smooth with the jumper. So much for confusion. Get it! And now with 10 minutes left. Gay with five. Gay for three. The bench did more than its fair share in the first half. Here's Gay, a part of the rally here in the second half. Hey, hey, Bill, when you were coaching, what part of practice did you use to teach this in? Once they loosened up, but, Jay, you talked about the closeout. Gay does a much better job closing out here under control, even though he forces him to some help. But uh, we didn't have time for this drill. Send it in. Oh, my goodness. That would be embarrassing. 
11 straight points for Connecticut. Gay up to 15 points and eight rebounds for the game. I mentioned it before, he really did turn a program around that was in the absolute depths in Eastern Kentucky. Austry with the ball, in and out of the hands of Ed Nelson. Rudy Gay winds up with it and takes it right to the rim. Boy, that's true. On the perimeter. Oh, nice look. Kick out Gay for three. Long rebound Armstrong. He puts it on the floor, goes up, misses badly. There's Gay with the putback. Wow. Uh, this point, Johnson. Gay on the right. Throws up the three. Yeah, he's he's scary good. And his numbers on the left, Garrison. To Boone. Hands to Gay and screens for him. Pull up. <laughs> too much. They're just too much. Of the year, he's shooting 53.6. Uh oh, uh oh. Right. Look out. Up top, Garrison. Gay throws up the three. Yeah, same five for New Hampshire as well. Up top, Austri. Pull up, Gay. I mean, that's just that's just too good. That's schooled in Fort Lauderdale. Gets the ball down low off the feet from Gay. The shot blocked, but Nelson gets it back. He gets every loose ball. Austri missed. Nobody put a body on Gay. Wow. They're 0 and 2 in the league, losing to Vermont, Boston University. Great. Look ball. at the ball move. That's why I said much better than the first half. That's a terrific attack against the zone. That should be a great, great night. We're looking forward to that. Raised over half a million dollars last year. Gay yeah, with the right side jump. Of course, the uh, the annual Jimmy V Classic was. Boone to Johnson, a freshman from Los Angeles. Gay yeah, puts it on the floor, drop step. And the slam. <laughs> that was a highlight one right there, Rudy. The preseason Big East Co-Player of the Year. That's athleticism right there. That's that's a man who can play some basketball with some ability. Rudy Gay with just that one bounce from the foul line up, two-hand slam. Stepped in and with poise run the team. Rudy Gay with a right side three, his eighth of the year. You know, really beat some nationally ranked teams in either Arkansas and Arizona. Oh, check this one out, Bob. You better close your eyes. <laughs> That's the kind of gym you can only sort of dream about, Bob. That was fast breaks for UConn, and, and Moorhead's got to pick people up a little bit better than they are. And oh my goodness, check this one. <laughs> the old 3 6 0. Oh, check it out right here. Whoa. I think Rudy's probably watched a few of those uh, slam dunk contests at the NBA All Star wow. game. Finally, a home game against Eastern Kentucky. As Gay scores inside, Pay was being guarded by Gay. And Gay is 13 inches taller than the try. There's Gay blocking the shot. The officials letting some bumping go. Ballard with some, certainly there's some body contact on that shot. Gay with the turnaround jumper. And just came back to play in time for the Big East tournament and NCAA tournament. The outlet pass stolen by the Huskies. Gay with the pull up. He's got 18. Points a game this year, 6.9 points. Anderson. 6 .2 boards. Anderson Steele. Brown sets up Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay with an easy triple, 16-3. I was thinking the same wow. thing, Rudy Gay. Nelson gets an easy rebound. Sets up Rudy. Lefty delivery, Rudy Gay. He's got five. Johnson, Hilton Armstrong, Austin, here's Rudy Gay. Pull up jumper baseline. Hello. Ed Nelson, 218 to go. Alley oop attempt. Yes, sir! That's what they were looking for. Rudy Gay with nine. Yowza! Well, what a surprise, folks. Our Red Lobster, nothing but net shot of the game. An easy re-rack for the boys in the truck. Garrison set up Rudy. Yeah The jangle of car keys you hear are the people who are now satisfied after seeing the play they were looking for. He's happy to have Marcus Williams back. It helps his offense. How about that quickness getting into the lane and following his shot, Rudy Gay gets his first field goal. 11 Central from ESPN Plus. And right out of the timeout, 
There's Rudy Gay with his second field goal of the night. So it's historic for him as well. Oh, here's Gay. Quickness in the lane, and he scores, and he earned those two. The number two team in the country, Iron Eagle, Clark Kellogg, LSU, off to a great start as Gay gets the tip in for UConn. Thomas inside. Davis, the ball was tipped. In there now for UConn. Austria is the freshman from Stamford, Connecticut. Two-time Connecticut High School Player of the Year. Rudy Gay with a rainbow delivery. Supreme. There's no question about it. There are stat sheet stuffers, and there are stuffers supreme. Gay knocks it down. That's a long two-pointer. Placed by Armstrong, playing with four fouls for the Huskies. Tigers lead by two. Gay off balance. Knocks it down. Cincinnati team on the defensive end yet. That's a foul. I sure was got his arm. Yep, Kirkland gestured at Jim Burr looking for a foul call against Gay. They didn't get it. Gay steps back for three. That's a big Ooh. turn of events. A missed call at one end. Marcus Williams, Pretty. middle of the lane. Armstrong tried to jam it down for Gay. Adrian, the tip by Gay. Poor White. He's number 23. Transferred from Xavier University of Louisiana in New Orleans, an NAIA school. Gay rattles in a three. I'm in a miss, but they keep on running. Now you can see it in the lack of wind for Hicks. He never got past half court running back. He's out of gas. And so's White, Sean, too. He couldn't get back either. Armstrong rejects Roy Hibbert. Gay with a high ball. Might as well have been a block. He just threw it up there to avoid the block, but nowhere's near going in. Gay challenges it. Ah. Terrific basketball by the Huskies. Marcus Williams penetrates and dishes off. Oh. Oh. throw rims oh. out. And then the putback is reaching. Yeah. Teams are ranked in the top 25 in one of the two polls. Oh, oh my Six in each poll. This v. Well, nice pass by Wallace. He's done that a couple of times. Comes off the screen and then quickly right off the screen makes the bounce pass. Oh, that's a ridiculously difficult angle. The game made it look so easy. Eight second half points. Here's Rudy Gay. Boy, oh, he's got a great ability to have drive and then put up that soft jump hook. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Didn't see Rudy Gay from behind, and now the foul committed. UConn led this game 12 to nothing. Four minutes in, Syracuse got back within three or four on a couple of occasions, but now it's eight. Rudy Gay spins and makes it ten. I'll tell you, he's a magnificent athlete, very explosive player. The coaches, Roberts has it knocked away. That's been the story. Turnovers and block shots and dunks oh, at the other end. Look at the transition game. Keyed by the great vision and the great possibility of Marcus Williams. Has five assists, and the Orange have turned it over yet again, Dick. Run, baby, run. Put it in his hand. Hands. He's the guy that runs the club. He's their engine. I tell you, he is going to be such an asset. You know, he's going to get a basketball shake. Had seven blowouts. I don't think that hurt them prior to the Marquette game. Another block. That's the tenth block, and Rudy oh. Gay's going to get the payoff at the oh. other end. No basket foul. That would have been a big one for the Orange. Rebound, though, to Connecticut. Oh, and nobody back. Rudy Gay. Nobody back. A reverse jam by Rudy Gay. Down to the shot clock at ten. Now Gay turns and fires and scores. Pretty yeah. looking shot. Yeah, His first field goal. Orange score. Well, you put Padgett in the star watch, and has he ever come up? And here's Rudy Gay with his first field goal of the second half. Eight for Gay. He is so talented. He's got that rainbow. Play in the ball game. I mean, talent wise, man to man, certainly the edge big time to Connecticut. Gay kind of got himself in no man's land, and he shoots his way out of it. He's one of the guys that the NBA people covet. They like those long arms, that explosiveness. Get this team playing with confidence in his second year here at St. John's. Hard drive to the basket by Gino Lawrence. Little pressure by Connecticut, 2-2-1. Nice break by St. John's, though, but the defense there again for Connecticut. Never a given. Loose ball picked up by Gay at 6-9. He takes it down on the dribble. Missed a step, a bit of go. Not that time. He slams it down. This one, you need to convert the open looks when you get them. Just lost the handle as he tried to spin. Gino Lawrence up to Rudy Gay. 
High gain, looking to break the tie. Rudy Gay does. Wow, big time move by Gay. Rebound is taken down. Trying to save it, it's thrown into Josh Boone, and he puts it over to Rudy Gay. Armstrong in sync, and a fast pace now goes Connecticut's way. Gay, man, a lot. Well, that's huge if Connecticut keeps it up and ends up at the foul line. Oh, forget about that one. Number one Connecticut against St. John's. As now the ball's taken away by Armstrong up court to Watch Rudy it. Gay. Oh, ho, ho. showtime. Right back down, and Jim Calhoun saying, hey, got to pay attention. Nice strip there. I think Denim Brown with the hand on it. Nice, nice outlet by Hilton Armstrong. I mean, wow. Windmill job by Rudy Gay. The strip. The thing I like is the way Hilton Armstrong's got his head up. I'll tell you what, he made that look easy. There aren't many people that can get up. They are hanging around. Rudy Gay has scored 10 of his 14 points in the second half. Here he goes again. Yes, <laughs> Puts the ball on the floor. Nobody seems to want to shoot. Ryan Williams with a bank shot. Rebound to Marcus Williams. Lead to Gay. Protects the ball, banks it in. Connecticut leads 55 to 48. Very strong candidate to win another one today. Here is Rudy Gay stealing the ball. Going in against Eugene Lawrence. Try to get rebounding position and keep the penetration from Williams to a minimum. Oh, what a dish! <laughs> oh, my goodness. They set that up beautifully. Went weak side. Down low, boom. Had it knocked away. Battle for it, knocked away. Rudy Gay's got it. Off the glass and in, Rudy Gay. Williams challenged us to go back up in the air. And McGrath is in the hospital. Adonis' grandmother down in Florida. Adonis shot three for three early, one for eight cents. And Rudy Gay gets his first bucket in a long time. He's got eight. McGrath, baseline. Wow, get it out of here, says Rudy Gay. Great defensive teams. Nice strip there by Gay. He's seventh in the Big East in steals. That was his 35th. And Marcus Williams coming up with an assist. Oh, how nice a pass was that. Marcus Williams. Here's Williams. He has a gay ahead of everyone. Look out. Wow, great start for Connecticut. And here comes Williams. He eyes Brown instead leaves for Gay. Gay in the lane for the floor. Oh, man. He's got eight points already. <laughs> this game's being played above the rim on some players already here tonight. Gay's got ten points with a 16-10 advantage so far. Nice defense. Brown took it away from Krauser. Williams to Gay. Look at the screen Armstrong set. Armstrong really did clear a path for Gay. Again, it's Williams to Boone. To Anderson. Gay. Benjamin is much smaller. Gay shoots over him with E. Wow. Now, it's been Rudy Gay just really taking over for the Connecticut Huskies. And all that time, just hitting the cutter. On the switch, Gray picks up Williams. Now left side, Gay hoists the three, knocks it down. Fourth foul on Graves, four on Pittsburgh this half. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Gay with 19 points. Down low, double teamed again. Even lower, it's blocked by Gay. Ramon doing a nice job with Krauser on the bench, although no, he turns it that time. Here's Gay with the steal. He drives on Kendall, and the foul, and Kendall's gone. They can go ahead and negate some of this great rebound and power that Connecticut has. Williams, jumper, Gay. First two, go to Yukon. Right under the basket. Williamsworth has to understand that he's always going to have a man waiting on the weak side. Rainbow, Looney Gay. Will they move up court and take wide shots? AJ Ratliff, that's blocked by Rudy Gay. Roderick Wilmont, and here's Marcus Williams. Seven turnovers so far for UConn, but they've got Rudy Gay hitting his second for Indiana. Klein is running Armstrong. There's the jumper, Rudy Gay. Gay! Gillingsworth just asked about over Illinois here. That was another game in which he was ineffective. He was one for nine in that game, but uh, Gillingsworth had a big moment. 
Jim Calhoun was mentioning a, a golf outing that he and the father. Andy Routens, his dad, a star at Syracuse in the early 80s, now the coach of the Canadian national team. His decision to keep him on the bench for most of this half. Well, look how many areas you have to cover. There's that old time pull up jumper. Come, gay. Guys, unless you got a great angle. Steven Dorf tried to do too much and turned it over. Woo! Osprey followed by gay. From the Orange, they led Syracuse by 20 in the first meeting up at the Carrier Dome less than a month ago. Sean, you get back in reasonable order. Out on him beyond the three point line. Oh, Sean, what checkouts to And then the run out by Bone. Terrific pass as well. And now Gay the dunk. So unselfish, the Yukon Huskies. Watkins had it swatted. Gay came flying over. It's it. You know, they're, they're in great position to assist, though. Look at Boone jamming it up here. And now from the top comes Gay. They don't count the house. They get in position to dominate. Just a terrific read. But yeah, he's got, they've got him off the ball, moving quickly. Here's that full court pressure. Trying to stimulate a nice look. Anderson dropped it off for Gay. He dropped it into the bucket. Rudy Gay has 10 points. Steven Dorf, stop and go move. Blocked by Gay. He said, I'll take the ball. Now Marcus Williams. Back to Gay. <laughs> That'll bring a smile. Pittsburgh tomorrow and at Georgetown on Sunday. And really, when you look at Seton Hall Marquette, I don't think many people expected them. Uh, but not for long, though. I mean, that's him teaching, though. That's what Jim Calhoun does. They respond. Look at this clear out by Cohen. Oh. Rudy Gay, 16 points. It's a double-double for Rudy tonight. He has 10 rebounds. Out of Pittsburgh. So he knows how to play. You know he can shoot the ball. Gay fouled. Counted. Well, he put Boone back in. Mm -hmm. Not a real drop-off, is there? No. No, I think they are the best team in the country. Wow, well, now there's that ability right there to elevate over. Actually, with the weather outside, because more and more people, I think, have plans to get to this game. And a baseline jumper, good. UConn on the board. Seton Hall off to a good start. 5-3 lead. Here's Gay from out top. That's a two. He nails it from the top of the key. And we're tied at five. Armstrong, nice move. The bounce pass is deflected. Picked up by Brown. He misses. The tip by Armstrong, no good. Another tip, and that's good. Quickly sent in, and a baseline jumper is good. Rudy Gay. Copeland working in traffic, and he's going to lose. He's going to lose it to okay. Anderson. Gay. Gay off the feet from Williams, and a jam. Oh, pretty play there. As Gay, running the floor, took the feed from Marcus Williams. Williams sends inside. Here's Gay. He's seen the ball a lot, and a pretty move. Spins baseline. That's the good ones who get better and better at them. Austri. Sends right side, long three, good. That was Rudy Gay. And now here's a long three from Paul Gauss, no good. Back the other way, Williams on the run. He'll send it Gay for the two-handed punch. Oh my, oh baby. Him to score. The crowd better than 20,000 engaged early. Rudy Gay quiets them with a deep three. Anderson is in the game. You really have to fan out and transition and find him. Gay went by Lowry, the nifty pull-up. He went out with two fouls, and we probably won't see Williams either, but Austria experienced this season at the point, and that's a deep two for Rudy Gay. Comes Nova with a one-point lead, and the ball nearing a minute and a half to go. The shot blocked by Gay as Foy took it. He kind of brought it out, Jay. You know, he didn't have to go up. Rudy Gay, an NBA distance three, and a Bill Bradley follow-through to let everybody know. What a great move by Osby to dribble across the body of Lowry and then a three out of the corner by Rudy Gay. Two fouls on Foy, five team fouls, so that's already an issue for Villanova. Gay drives by Cunningham. Oh, explosive, mixing it up. Three on one, Connecticut. Gay into Foy. Nice body control, huh? Frenetic defense causing the Huskies problems. Williams missed a shorty. Got through that defense. Gay, the acrobatic spinner. Gay again. Uh oh, tough effort. He took something in the eye, I believe. Then him Brown for three. Rebound and stuck back in by Rudy Gay. That's 
foot on the line. They call it a two-point field goal. And here's a 1-3 one, run, and Gay didn't know, but he gets away with it anyhow. He thought it was man-to-man. -man. Ten to shoot for Rudy Gay. Elevates Woo. traffic and buries it. You know who's one of the best guys I've ever seen at the pull-up jumper? Who? Number 44. Gay agree. How about that, huh? What else do you need? The whole package. Automatic switching on the base. He can elevate. Rudy Gay. Got it. Yeah, he knows. He reads. He feels. He's got five inches. And just how much did Rudy Gay play within the offense, too? No force. How about this? Fitting, huh? Uh, Coach and got his team playing some good ball. Oh, nice play. Rudy Gay with his 48th steal of the year. Six votes to the Big East. Gay in traffic. Our only chance to win this is to do what we do best and to, and to try to try to do it so we can take advantage of you guys. That's not good enough. Well, we'll get out of here with a loss. Gay gets the roll in his second field goal of the night. Five out of six Notre Dame baskets in the paint. In the zone, forcing the up. Oh, look at that pass. <laughs> Made possible by the Armstrong back screen. Here comes Williams after the Zeller miss. 6'11", Zeller, first two times he's touched the ball, he's launched threes. Gay with the fadeaway. Foot was on the line, that's a two. For game, and he's already exceeded that run, and he's got 24 minutes to add to it. Francis is blocked from behind. Pauls couldn't believe it. He's been open, this open all night long. Gay, the pull-up over Carter. Tough shot. And Boone comes away with his fifth rebound. Here's Williams to Gay. Oh! What a timing play right there. Williams was at a one-hander by Gay that time. Incredible. Well, if you're a big guy and you run the floor, you'll be rewarded with number five, the teammate. A dozen assists for Williams. But Notre Dame still got the possession. Nice up fake. The falls fake two guys off the seat. Then Gay still came back and blocked it. Group situations. Here's one of those for Connecticut. We'll see if Gay's the man. Gay for three. And the lead is one. No, the foot was on the line. It's only a two. Armstrong with rebound number eight. So we played 215, 315 in the overtime without a point. Gay down low and the foul. Well, you knew it was inevitable. And Gay, a guy that you figured, hey, he's playing with four fouls, but certainly can come up with the big bucket, the catch. He's got the long arms. He's 6'9. Nice look again by Williams. Great catch. Here's your foul. I think it's the reach right there on Cornette from and the looks a, of it. And it's his fifth, Ron. Not a shot that Villanova wants to take. Well, Jay Wright. Right. the clock. Here's Gay. Perfect. And if anything, you want Rudy Gay to have to put the... But uh, his contribution's really limited because of the number of injuries. That's what Gay wants to do. Take a jump shot, wide open. There's a little zone matchup down inside now. Armstrong goes baseline. The help came, and it left Rudy Gay all by himself. As exciting a game as I've seen in a long time. Another rejection for Armstrong. Williams to Gay for the finish. Absolutely. <laughs> Yankees down here. Legends field knocked away. Gay picks it up. Goes up, lays it up and in. Rudy Gay was held to three points in the first half. We'll go to the line. Providence, DePaul, Notre Dame all fighting to get in. Of those five teams, only two will go. The one-hander for Rudy, Rudy Gay. Gay. Boy, what touch. Honored before the game. They're on senior day, and Rudy Gay, boy, did that have some... Uh, Nobody's going to block that, are no. they? <laughs> when you're six foot eight or nine, and have that kind of soft release. Nobody's going to get a piece of it. Here when you have two marquee teams in the noon matchup. They oh. like the 9 o'clock. Oh! Wow. Well, he does have some hops, and in the zone. Williams off the mark. Devendorf tapped it, but Williams was the player there. Gay out of the corner for three. Five big points. In the last couple of moments for Josh Wright. Gay, a shot and a three. So there's Rudy Gay. Hearing eight and a half.
and a half to go. Strong drive by McCroskey. His shot blocked out of bounds by Gay. Well, every time Connecticut makes a little spurt, looks like they might take the lead or get even. Syracuse widens the margin back out. There's Gay to make it an eight-point game. The, next time open. the upset. Nichols lost the handle. Gay ahead for Anderson. Beautifully off to Gay for the dunk. And Jimmy now a little bit irate, but this is what happens. Very clever dish off here at the end. Yeah, beautiful pass. And you know what, Bill? I don't think Jim Beheim's irate right now. I think what Jim Beheim is doing is telling a guy like Demetrius Nichols, you're good enough to do this. You're good enough to get this done. Just think about the play in front of you because all he needed to do was make the catch. Brent Wilson, pretty good sized player. It's a tough matchup for Lewis right here. Rudy Gay hits the jumper to open up the scoring. Gay. He's got size on him and quickness. That pass with the shot uh, taken into the first row by Rudy Gay. Another big body in there for the Huskies. Rudy Gay fade away. Beautiful step back Rudy jumper right over Ziggy. It's the highest arcing jumper in college basketball. And again, they're going to make a quick sub on the UConn side. Adrian about to check in. And as the game opened with a gay jumper, this was going to be a historic night. Rudy Gay. And now the lead at eight. Transition back. It's Rudy Gay slamming it down. Well, Perry is an excellent leaper. Before with that many teams. Big East. The Big Ten. There's Gay again. But they're up against, I think, a much superior foe today. Rudy Gay hits another jump. Williams, two guys have known each other since they were kids. Played on the same. Boom block. Gay, he's not going to be blocked. Reaches out, extends, and just drops it. He lost it. Anderson kind of helped force it up ahead. Gay lowers the shoulder, does a little flip move, soft move for two more. Rudy Gay having an outstanding. There's where Morris is doing the right thing. He's catching now and going immediately to the basket. Oh, he's out of position. Gay, he's not going to miss that one. Walker, look the baseline, nowhere to go. Defender, but he's going to have his hands full with Williams. The defending national champions are out. North Carolina is eliminated as Gay hits a. Big one for the Huskies to lead it by seven. The year when I started coaching and all. From Mercer Island yeah. High School in, uh, in Washington. Jensen with the foul. That's him. And he's got the size to get away from him. Look at that. And with the block for yeah. Rudy Gay. Well, now there's. Now look where they're starting. This is one thing they do well. They force you out on the floor, Washington. There's a double team, baseline. Nice. Well, he went away from the traffic. What a heady play. That. Good job. He has converted 30 more threes than Brandon Roy, who's second on the list. Rudy Gay, my goodness. Unbelievable. Impressive. Great hops and great use of step moves. Wow. Rudy Gay. Well, you, you all know what he can do. This is an extraordinary talent. He can make that jump shot, that rainbow delivery he has. So you go out and hug him, puts it on the deck, and, and look at that. And he's not going to let Williams get it back if he can help it. Rudy Gay, jump stop, perfect. The end of that game, and there's a turnover. And right now, lacking a little composure on the offensive end. And how about that? Rudy Gay steps out. You got the power brokers inside. Lamar Butler, fifth-year senior from Fort Washington, Maryland. Here's Rudy Gay. Step back, huh? Oh, he can elevate. Anytime anybody is smaller, he plumb bobs with that elbow. Yep. And the head coach is George Mason. Uh, Williams is good getting in the lane and using the dribble. They settle for the long jumper. How about that? Get a talent, wipe the ball off. Ha! He's really hurting. They're going to take him out. There's Rudy Gay. Oh, perfect. Uh, he knows over Campbell. Plenty of room to knock it down. Marcus Williams clears it for UConn. A chance to tie or reclaim the lead. Pretty. Gay. Oh. Yes. And he ran to the spot. And terrific patience. They've been able to dribble drive or flash the three-second lane. Right side, Rudy Gay. Right on there. Look at that. 
Boy, that reminds me of Bill Bradley, how he would follow it and wave goodbye. You never are. <laughs> nice look. Boone, put back, Rudy Gay. So many big bodies around the rim. There's Williams guarded by Butler. Little turnaround jumper, Rudy Gay. It's his size, Fern. With the eighth pick in the 2006 NBA Draft, the Houston Rockets select Rudy Gay from the University of Connecticut. One of possibly four Connecticut players selected in the first round. One of possibly six Connecticut players selected in the first two rounds. As you heard our analyst, you can't argue with the talent level of Rudy Gay. But is he a go-to guy? Does he sometimes disappear? Was it the same knock that we heard on Charlie Villanueva? And we certainly know what he did in his rookie year in Toronto. First team all Big East, 6'8", 222 pounds, and that's very with Houston now, but that hat could change, Jay. Well, that, that's a very good comparison, I think, to Charlie Villanueva, because I questioned Villanueva and how tough he would be, what his work ethic would be like. And Rudy Gay, I think, is an outstanding prospect. Incredibly athletic. He's 6'9", he's got really long arms, a wingspan of about 7'3", so he plays bigger than his size. He's got every skill, every tool, every piece of ability that you would want in a player the question we've talked about his assertiveness I think he still tends to rely upon his jump shot a little bit too much I think he's got to learn to put the ball on the floor and attack the basket more off of the dribble to become as explosive off the dribble as his athleticism says he should be he's outstanding in transition we're talking about though his assertiveness can he or will he take over I think if you give him some time and you teach him I think he'll be able to do that he comes out of a great system that produces quality pros in UK and he knows how to work. You play for Jim Calhoun, you know how to roll up your sleeves and go to work. Rudy Gay will do that. And also some questions about his ball handling skills. The assist to turnover ratio is uh, obviously an issue with him, but now the possibility of him going to Memphis. Let's look at that scenario, Greg. Uh, it's interesting. I, I think a lot of what Jay just talked about is part of the issue. I, I don't know that he's quite ready yet to become that first or second scoring option. That's why I thought he'd been a great fit in Houston because you have a first and second option with Yao Ming and Trace McGrady, plus defensively, I think he can have a huge impact. The other thing is this. Connecticut's players, when they come to the pros, they all impact the game. They are all very well prepared to play at the professional level. I don't think he's any different. That's exactly why this makes absolutely no sense to me if you're Houston. I don't know why you would let him go for Shane Battier. The fact is, they were 29th in the league in scoring and in field goal percentage shooting. This guy is an offensive-minded player who can give you something. And when you look at what Shane Battier is going to give you, I know he's solid. I'm not knocking him by any stretch of the imagination. But you need some points playing for Jeff Van Gundy. And this is a guy that can get it for you, can help you get some more. You make this move, I don't like it. But well, what Battier can do is make open shots. As the second guy, second pass out of a double team, he can knock down perimeter shots, and he's going to upgrade your perimeter defense right away. Rudy Gay is probably a better prospect down the road, but I agree with Greg. You're going to have to wait a little bit, a little while, before he's assertive enough to be a star. In the and remember game. with Houston, they lack athletic ability. That's one of the big problems with that team. You need to surround Yao Ming with quality athletic players who can go and make hustle effort skill plays. Rudy Gay gives them that. I don't know that Shane Battier provides that. As I mentioned at the outset, this is a big night for Connecticut basketball because you could have as many as six players from this team selected in the first two rounds. And one of those players is Hilton Armstrong, expected to be a first round draft pick. His reaction when Rudy Gay was selected by the Houston Rockets, but destination could be Memphis. Let's go to Stuart Scott standing by with Rudy Gay. Thanks a lot, Dan. We're in a Houston Rocket hat, but maybe headed to Memphis. Rudy, what's your gut reaction when you first heard that you may be playing for the Grizzlies instead of the Rockets? Uh, at this point, you know, I'll, I'll be ready to play for anybody who picks me. So, you know, um, whatever happens, I'll be ready. A lot of people, our analysts, people in the media, nobody questions your talent. They question your motivation. They, they question your drive. Your coach, Jim Calhoun, even said it was tough to motivate you. He said, if you don't expect it from them, you won't get it. How much truth is there to that? Um, I don't think it's a lot of truth to that. I think I have the drive to be the best player, one of the best players I can be, you know, one of the best players in the league at, at some point. So, you know, I'm going to work my hardest to, uh, to try to, you know, like I said, just be the best player I can be. You worked out personally with Michael Jordan at one point. What did you show MJ? that you think surprised him? 
that, I, <laughs> that surprised them. Uh, just the fact that I have more in my game, you know, just dunking and, and, and shooting threes. It's a mid-range game, and, and you know, I, I have, I'm kind of tricky in my and kind of things. Some of the things I do, and uh, I'm more of a player than what you what he thinks. All right, how many diamonds? One, two, three. Dan, we don't have enough time to count these. I'll, I'll be Not in the hundreds by the time I throw this Not back to you. <laughs>